Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 1 to 2. And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. You know, old photos, old photographs, they, when, we, when we look at them, when we pull them out, uh, and old albums, when we see, you know, we get all nostalgic. Uh, it reminds us of, of the good old days, and uh, there are fond memories that we have when we look at old photographs. So, in a way, um, you know, Paul actually is pulling out some old photographs here, and he's, and he's telling the efficient church, you know, he's reminding them of life that was a that was there, the kind of life that they lived before they came to know the Lord Jesus. So Paul is saying, and he's reminding the Ephesian church, oh, this, is, this is what you were. And he's showing them these old photographs. And uh, the words he uses uh, are these, that you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the ways or paths of this world. Um, in fact, he's saying that this is how you walked habitually all the time. Uh, it, it was as if you were locked into this rut, you were locked into this path. Um, it's as if you were on this treadmill, you, know, you were just going over and over again in that place and this is how you lived your life. You once walked according to the course or according to the path or way of the world. But all that changed when we encountered the love of Jesus. So in fact, Paul is reminding us this is how we once were. This is how we could have lived our lives. We were locked into that path. We were locked into the ways of the world. But all that changed when we encountered the love of Jesus. Here this verse talks about how we were made alive. He says, and you he made alive. We were made spiritually, we were born again. We were made alive. We came alive to God. We who were dead to God, we, be, we, were, we became alive to God. We became dead to sin. And uh, now, we have a new identity. We are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. We have a new purpose. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. In fact, God, the Holy Spirit, He indwells us. So we have a new position, we have a new purpose. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are released in us and uh, it's a great life. This is what we call the born again life. And so, when we look at our old lives, when we turn, when we look at our old lives, it's not time to be nostalgic, but it's actually time to be grateful and say, Lord, this is how I once was, but now you changed me with your amazing grace. This was my old identity, but you've given me a new identity. This is how I was, but you've, you've released your gifts in me. You empowered me to live this new life. So let's just thank God even as we pray. Father, we thank you that you've made us alive in you. We thank you that we are born again, that we are spiritually made alive. We have a new purpose, we have a new life, we have a new identity in you, God. And Father, we thank you that you indwell us to live out this new life. And even as we look back, our hearts are filled with gratitude that you changed us from what we were, Lord, into who we are right now. And we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.